Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. Oh my god, I can't believe that it is December 15th already. Um, I had no idea how fast time was going by. Um, I mean, I think I knew in my head, but it hadn't really hit me just how close Christmas was until this morning, whenever someone asked what date it was, and then they said it was the 15th. I was like, whoa. Um, time flies. Uh, but yeah. First of all, I'd like to apologize if I happen to be talking really fast right now. I know I talk really fast anyway, but I've been trying to film the start of this vlog for a really long time now, and I just kept rambling on too much, so I apologize. But basically, I want to say I'm really sorry that I didn't vlog anything over the weekend. Um, the main reason for that is because I didn't do anything over the weekend. Also, I kind of just wanted to take a break from vlogging. Um, for me, it is really hard to keep up vlogging for like at least five days a week like honestly this vlogmas thing is such a challenge because it's not like I can pre-record these I have to like film them in real time and like upload them and stuff like that and it is a lot of effort um not that I'm complaining because I actually really like it and it has been keeping me feeling really productive but at the same time it's just a lot of hard work and it does take up a lot of energy when you're trying to present yourself in such a way in front of the camera um I'm not saying that I'm being fake, because I'm not. I'm, like, being 100% real with you guys, but at the same time, normally whenever you are being yourself, you don't have to outwardly project that, you know what I mean? Like, you don't, like, you just be yourself regularly, normally. You don't have to explain what you're doing all the time or talk about something all the time, which I am having to do whenever I'm doing my YouTube videos. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it would be boring for you guys to sit and watch me uh, sit on my computer on Tumblr. So, yeah. Um, that's happening. Um, but yeah. So, now that it's getting so close to Christmas, there are only nine days of Vlogmas left. And I don't know how to process that. That's only nine videos, guys. Nine videos. And I don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel like I should make the videos running up to Christmas a little bit more special. Um, I don't know how, but I feel like I should do something more than just have these little vlogs because I feel like I could do something a little bit more. I could push myself if I really wanted to, um, which I might, because uh, I have had a few video ideas in my head for a really long time. I just haven't sat down to film them, so I'm going to make the effort to, over the Christmas holidays, I will film some more videos, um, get back on my Let's Plays, because I know I've been neglecting them because of Vlogmas and stuff like that, so I'm really going to get on it, because I feel like since I started YouTube this year, it has been really good, um, I've really enjoyed it, and I really want to keep going with it, so I feel like the best way to do that is to power through and keep producing content till the end of the year, and then start with 2015, like, huge... Um, I'm ready guys. I'm so ready for this. Um, I have, I, I actually did look back and I posted my first Let's Play on my channel like at the end of November last year, I think. Um, and so I have had YouTube for over a year now and it has been really great. And I don't know, I just, I feel like this is something I should continue. Um, if not for you guys, for myself because uh, whenever I do vlogs and stuff, it's kind of like a little video journal memory thing, so that one day I can look back and remember, because, you know, I am leaving secondary school this year, and I am going into university next year, hopefully, and so, you know, things will change, and one thing that will never change are the memories and the photos and the videos and stuff like that, so I feel like it's good to have these things out there to look back on and remember. I mean, even I will admit that I have been looking over previous videos I've made like a few months ago just to remember the good times. Like, honestly, I think I'll always remember, and I think that that's why YouTube is such a great thing. Um, but yeah, uh, that's happening. Sorry to get really sentimental. I feel like I just went on a whole tangent thing that didn't have to, to really do with anything. Um, but yeah. Uh, plans are to keep going with this year. Par through. Um, I might take some time off from posting videos over Christmas. That is to be understood mainly just because it's Christmas. You spend time with your family. You do not spend all your time sitting at the computer. 
Um, even me, as much time as I do spend at the computer, I will leave it and I will go talk to my family and be with them and stuff like that. Um, plus, after posting so much, I feel like I am entitled to just take a break. Because um, I have been posting so much um, since December started, so I'll take a little bit of a break, but then I'll come back and we'll see where next year takes us because I don't know what's gonna happen next year all I know is is that I have to finish my A levels and hopefully pass and then I'll pick a university and I'll go there but I don't know what's gonna happen with that um so yeah I guess we'll just see and you know I'll, I'll take you guys with me as much as I can because I feel like it's just something I've grown accustomed to now like it's so weird how easily you get like um, drawn into this YouTube thing or maybe it's just me because I um, have this like easily obsessive personality I just get obsessed with things really easily but I mean it it sort of didn't take me that long to feel comfortable with doing this and um, yeah I don't know it's weird uh, but yeah um, I feel like I've talked a lot now so I'm gonna go for a bit I'll come back to you guys um, just on this one clip alone I suspect that this will be like the longest vlog ever um, and I can't promise you there'll be anything that great I feel like it'll just be more of me talking uh, randomly but yeah um, I guess I'll just see you guys in a bit hey guys so I just finished watching I Justine's Tech Tuesday video which is her video from last week because I'm really behind on my YouTube subscriptions um, but she was talking about how she is teamed up with Microsoft and they are doing this thing called R of Code and basically what that is is a way for you to um, learn the basics of coding and that is like websites and programs and stuff like that um, code is basically just a bunch of numbers and letters that make no sense when you look at it. Um, it looks kind of terrifying, but it definitely makes up all the websites and programs and stuff that we use today. And it's kind of something that I'm interested in. Um, it's uh, actually what I applied to do at university, so I think that this would be really good to try. Um, I'm basically telling you this because I'm about to try it right now. Um, I have the website up here. Um, there's Justine, uh, but yeah, um, I have the website up now, and I'm going to try it, I'm going to let you guys know how it is, um, now, I don't really know how this will be, um, I'm kind of terrified, to be honest, like, the first time that I saw code, I was terrified, um, but I think it would be really awesome to learn how to, like, write code, because if you can do that, like, it'll be so impressive like I know that people want to be like doctors and surgeons and stuff but no I want to learn how to write code because that looks more complicated um but yeah like I said I'm gonna try the site and I guess I'll let you guys know how it goes so guys I have just finished my R of code and honestly it was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be um it's actually really simple and obviously if you're just being introduced to code it is a great way to start um I did the touch development one um on the website uh if you guys can see here this is what I was doing although that page doesn't really show you much um but yeah, it is really simple, um, not too complicated. I really liked it. Um, the video tutorials were really helpful. Plus, there are like pop up boxes the whole way through, so it's like you're not left entirely on your own because it does look a little bit scary. But honestly, it's not too bad. Um, definitely easier than I thought it was going to be. But I really did like it. Um, but if you guys want to check it out too, there's going to be a link in the description below. Um, I don't know who else would be interested, but I was. And, um, it is fun, like, if you've ever wanted to create your own video game. Um, granted, this was, like, really, really simple. It's just, like, making a robot fly up and down and have ob obstacles fly towards it. Um, but yeah, I have had kind of experience with making my own game before in school. We did this game maker thing, um... Not necessarily writing code, but we did have to program everything on it, and it did take forever, so I understand how that would work. Um, but yeah, uh, props to people who actually do this for a living, because oh my god, it, it seems like it would take forever. Um, but I think once you learn how to do it, it's really easy. Uh, but yeah, seems kind of fun. Um, I'm going to try out the other things that they have, maybe later. Um, I kind of got distracted because my friend started to have a Facebook group chat conversation with me. But yeah, um, 
like I said, I will put a link in the description below if you guys want to check this site, or if you guys want to watch Justine's video because she sounds a little bit more convincing than me because she has been interested in stuff like this forever, like longer than I have, because she knew that she wanted to do something with technology ever since she was like six, and I did not. So, yeah, um, I guess that's that. Um... Not that I'm done messing around with that. I might go back to it later. But I think I have homework for tomorrow. Like, I know I have homework, but I think I've done it. But I'm going to look anyway. Um, and we'll just see what's up. Uh, and if I don't have homework, I am going to maybe play some Animal Crossing and Sims. Because that's all I do with my life. And also play some Pokemon, because I'm far in that. Uh, if you guys are actually wondering how far I am in, in Omega Ruby, I'm only like... Uh, at the second gym, I think. Second slash third gym. Not really gotten further than that. That sounds really bad because I feel like I should be, like, way up to speed. Like, way further in the game than this. Like, my brother rags on me about it all the time. But I'm just haven't had time to really, like, sit down and really get into it. So, yeah. Um... I know that Nathan wants me to do gameplay on that at some point, and I might sit down to do that for Christmas, but, um, yeah, nothing's set in stone yet. I feel like I need to have, like, a better Pokemon team and a secret beast and stuff like that set up before I can show you guys, but it should be fun, uh, but yeah, like I said, now I'm going to check to see if there is homework that needs done slash fixed or whatever, and I will get back to you at another time. So guys, I have checked my homework for tomorrow and it turns out that I have done everything that needs to be done for tomorrow and that feels weird to me, mainly just because I always have schoolwork for the next day, like even if I leave things, even if I do things as soon as I get them, there's always just one thing I'll leave to the end, but for some reason I don't have anything and that feels weird. Uh, mainly just because there's always something I could be doing for school. Like, honestly, even over the weekend, when I said I didn't really do much, I still did some schoolwork because it needed to be done. And the fact that I have nothing that I can think of that I need to do for tomorrow is driving me insane. Because I feel like there is something. And I know that there's always something that I could be doing for school. Like, I could always be revising and stuff like that. But honestly, I am not really wanting to revise, especially when I know what's ahead of me, like revising everything from September for my mocks, and it's like, yes, I could start now and take more days off during the actual holidays, but I'd rather not, and that seems really weird, but I, I'm always tired after I come home from school, so I really don't feel like revising is the best thing to do, um, especially if the mocks aren't until a month away, like I feel like I should at least start revising a little bit closer to the time um, and stuff like that and I know they say not to leave it to the last minute and I'm not but I'm just saying like I could take this week just to chill a little bit and then I will do everything that needs to be done but yeah I definitely feel like there's something I'm missing for tomorrow I swear I'm gonna walk in and there's gonna be a class and there's gonna be a teacher that says something and I'm gonna be like I didn't do that and it is the most annoying feeling in the world ever um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't really want to do anything, but I feel like I should, which is really bad, like, really bad. Um, I think I'm just over-obsessing about school, which is something that I do, in case you guys haven't noticed. In case you guys haven't been watching any of the vlogs this month. Um, but yeah, it's so weird. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> That's really bad. It's like, my life just consists of school and social media um, but yeah, I don't know. I think I'll just chill. Maybe. Play Animal Crossing, Sims. I don't know. I feel like maybe we should turn this into some kind of drinking game. Every time I mention schoolwork, take a shot. Uh, don't do that. I feel like you would actually die. Um, like if you watched all of my Vlogmas videos and drank every time I talked about school or maths, you might die, because I swear it's like every single vlog, um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I could check out more of that coding thing, because technically, that is schoolwork. That is me preparing for my future, um, and it wasn't so terrible, so I might check out that again. Uh, but honestly, I don't have much else to do with my time. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, sorry if this vlog was really boring, I don't know. There, Like, honestly, I just, I don't have anything to vlog about, but I needed to vlog, and so yeah. Um... 
I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Honestly, don't blame me if you don't give this video a thumbs up because it was so boring. But I wanted to just give a shout out to those two to three people that have been liking all my videos recently. I see you. I don't know exactly who you are, but I have an idea. So thank you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all I wanted to say. Leave me a comment below saying something. I feel like I asked you guys something at one point in this video. If I didn't, say hi in the comments anyway. And um, yeah, I uh, guess that's everything. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.